What's up there, Glow fam, man? Um, we finally here at our oldest daughter's uh, graduation. She's graduating from um, Florida a and um, University Developmental Re Research School. She's a class valedictorian, uh, SGA president. She also a uh, oh, chilly spot as well. So, um, yeah, I'm very proud of her. Yeah, she's doing them. Make this journey, the next journey of her life. She's finally grown up now. You know. My baby, my baby grown up. She been grown up, but um, yeah man. We appreciate y'all, you know. We appreciate y'all looking at this video, you know, sharing this moment with us. That's it. That's it. We can't hear you. So we are proud of her graduating today. Yes, we are. But we're gonna show her in a little bit. She got a speech coming up. But we'll show y'all some more. So. Yeah. 
Amari <laughs> Best. Like do stating in Thank <laughs> you. 
because I don't know why. Of course, people tried talking to me, but I was too shy to speak. When I think about that little girl and the woman who now stands before you, I can say a lot has changed, and I could not have done it alone. There are many people who deserve things. To the class of 2024, we have, we have had a strange entrance into high school. Our two-week break from school in eighth grade that turned into a year of distance learning stole many moments of our time from us. Our eighth grade prom, eighth grade graduation, and our first day of high school. In a sense, the COVID pandemic stole our endings and beginnings, but no, life did not end after the pandemic. Today, we celebrate our 12 year long commitment to an education, and I am thankful to have spent most of these years here with you all. Most of you I have known for more than five years. We have had ups and downs, but all in all, we made it, guys. I am proud of all 32 of us and will not wish for any other people to graduate with. To my administration and guidance counselors, I thank you for working with me throughout my years in SGA dual enrollment and supporting me as a regular student. It is thanks to you that I have been able to reach the heights that I can stand now academically. To all my teachers who had to deal with my shenanigans, thank you. I have built a relationship with all of you, especially those who I've known through the majority of my time in school. You all know what I am capable of and have never allowed me to be any less. Not only did you help me academically, most of you all have helped me in my personal life in more ways than you know. Our conversations will forever be ingrained in my brain and heart as I move on to my next educational chapter. <laughs> to my Student Government Association and National Honor Society advisor, Ms. Wilson, you were one of the best teachers I have had. You're like sitting on the in your place, and sometimes I marvel at how you did all the, that you did. We accomplished so much together, and you, you have helped me see things in various lights. Your absence is definitely felt, and I wish that I could have, could have ended this year off with you. However, I'm happy that you have found another wonderful place to work your magic. To Ms. Maseline, I don't think you realize just how much you have impacted me throughout my time in high school. Ms. Maseline? Sorry. Ms. Vasily, you have known me since I was six years old and have helped me grow into the woman I am. I think it was fate for you to become my teacher again and even more so a friend and mentor. Thank you for always believing me and being a refuge during my time here. Sorry. To my closest friends, my second family, my friend group filled with beauty and grace, yep. Dream, Amari, and Haley. You all are some of the realest, funniest girls I know, and I have become a better person because of it. Y'all never fail to turn any dull moment to moments of your happiness. As the mom of our group, y'all, you all know just how much you guys make me lose my mind. But I will never trade any of it. You guys have shown me what a true, pure friendship is. Although this chapter may have closed, and we may not be, be together for quite some time, just know that I hope you guys will be my forever friends. Now to the one person who has given me my all, my first love, my best friend, my mommy, thank you. We have often joked about this day, and it's here now. We did it. I quite literally would not be here without you, and I will forever be thankful for your sacrifice. 
sacrifices. You raised me into the young woman I am and have been there for me emotionally and physically. Okay, Words can't describe how much I owe you, owe to you and how much you have given me. Mommy, I'm graduating and I'm graduating as valid Victorian as that. I may be leaving the nest soon, but I will always be your baby. I love you so much, way more than you can imagine. Last but not least, I'd like to thank myself for never giving up, being true to who I am, and pushing myself to the standards required for this title. To the future Nave, looking back on this, I want you to remember that no matter what, today is a testament of what you are capable of. Never forget you who you are, because even at your lowest points, you are destined for greatness. In conclusion, I'm happy that I am now stepping off my high school roller coaster and have left this legacy behind. Now, the name Nave Brenda Green will forever go in Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University Developmental Research School's history as the graduating class of 2024's valedictorian. Once again,